this video is going to get really dirty. Good morning, it's a sparkling day here in Central Oregon. <laughs> I'm Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And today we are going to make dirt. Yes sir, Rebob. And uh, the way we're going to make our dirt today is with coconut core. So what do we need the dirt for? Well, we don't need it for the towers anymore, we got them filled up. It's some darn potatoes. <laughs> yep. Uh, my potatoes are growing so fast I can't make enough dirt so we bought <clears throat> 15 cubes of uh, of this uh, coconut core and the way we make that is we get a big bucket add water and turn it into dirt <clears throat> and then we add uh, a <clears throat> sorry I'm still waking up uh, perlite to it and uh, then we'll keep that in the greenhouse and keep adding more dirt as them taters keep growing so uh it's a good problem so uh let's get to making some dirt okay guys this is my culprit right here these potatoes are growing super fast so we always make a bunch of dirt so we can keep layering our uh, potatoes and uh they're growing so fast that uh i just gotta keep making dirt and i still gotta add three more potato bags uh i haven't done planting these things so we may uh, do really good in potatoes this year. All right, we're back out by the towers. To make this stuff is pretty easy. Take these out of the packages, throw them in here, add water, and mix. Just that easy. It's amazing how much dirt this will make. Um, I bought 15 blocks, Home Depot by the way. Seems to have the best price for uh, coconut core, so we keep cleaning them out. <laughs> I'm hoarding coconut core. Anyway, let me get to work on this. Alrighty guys, we're looking for a bag of perlite. I think I found it. No, it looks like a heavy bag, doesn't it? I mean, I bet you it doesn't weigh more than eight pounds. So, uh, gosh, what a beautiful day we have today. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> I usually add about a third of perlite to the quantity of dirt I make. And uh, the perlite just allows it to drain. It doesn't retain water. The coconut core does. And why we use this stuff is it's reusable. And, uh, uh, we uh, feed everything with nutrients and the coconut core is great for holding moisture and holding the nutrients and uh, it's been working out good for us. And there we go, there's some real pretty soil right there. Got all the uh, perlite mixed into it. Now I just got to carry it over to the greenhouse over there. And now it's a little heavier. All right, guys, we got uh, more dirt in the uh, potato bags. That won't last long. I'll have to ask them, add more soon. They're growing like crazy. Uh, the Dutch buckets are doing well. We got two buckets still open. We're going to try to do peppers. And uh, I'm also going to see how well I can do with uh, uh, sugar peas. <laughs> I do have green beans in here. And they seem to be all right out here. So... Uh, a lot of a lot of broccoli in here got the cell um, iceberg lettuce going and I'll be adding some other ones today so uh, all the tomatoes are doing great uh, I have to spray a couple for aphids but we got the aphids situation way under control much better than before so uh, yeah and uh, I even have a uh, plant trying to do some buds here we're going to cut those off. We're not going to let those grow because we want this baby to get big. So, uh, there you go. That's our update on the greenhouse. Wow, you don't realize how hot it is in that greenhouse to step out. 
It's like, oh, I'm sweating. So today, uh, also on the new uh, NFT system, uh, we're gonna clean out this water. Uh, we've been cleaning out the pipes and stuff. Uh, then add nutrients, because I think I have a couple plants to go ahead and start. Um, so, uh, yeah, so just a little bit of work. Oh, I got to uh, finish the lid on this. And also, uh, uh, I've got some little extensions I gotta add. I did buy some more pipe, just a little piece. And so, yeah, just a little touch ups, and this thing's ready to run. So, the other project I need to get done today is these holes need to be much larger. You can kind of see the outline here, how big they really should be. That is a three inch hole, but uh, the pipe is much wider than three inches. So, I think I'm just gonna use a jigsaw. It may not look pretty, but it'll work. All right, guys, I got the rest of my. ABS um, pipe and uh, added that to the end here for my drain and the pumps all set up and we're ready to go and I cleaned out the tank now I gotta go in the greenhouse and uh, sorry treat everything with some uh, uh, we call this super soap for aphids uh, I got just one plant in here has a little bit of aphids on it. Better to get them right now. Okay, so I'm trying to get some more potatoes planted. I have three bag empty bags left. I got one filled already down at the end here. These are the current ones I have. And I thought I'd show you how I'm doing this. So I'm using these uh, 10 gallon uh, fabric, fabric bags. And I've got a couple more starters over here. I actually have more. This is the dirt that we're making. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a layer at the bottom and then we're going to put our potatoes in. I'm sure a lot of you guys do potatoes so I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So there's different ways of doing it but what you want to do is plant them, put a layer, plant them, cover those. As they grow you keep adding more uh, soil which will help produce more shoots to make more potatoes. So eventually this bag will be full of dirt and hopefully we'll have lots of layers of potatoes growing. So anyway, let's get this one started and I'll let you see what it looks like. Alright, so I got my layer of dirt in here. So basically what I do is I'm going to actually uh, put all these starters in. But I kind of just do a little circle around here. Like so. Sorry, I'm not very good with my left hand on this camera. Making sure that the sprouts are pointing upward. Uh, we're not going to make these potatoes work any harder than you have to. See the sprouts right here? Goes to the top. Put them in the dirt a little bit. Got this one here. Some of them are funny. And yeah, I cut some of these so I could get more production out of them. And just like that. Oops, I'm not keeping the camera very straight, sorry. Alright, so all I'm going to do now is add some more dirt over the top of those, about, oh, half an inch to an inch, till they sprout, and now I'll just keep adding la layers as they grow up, and uh, it's a pretty fast process. I am watering these with my master blend that I'm using for my potatoes in the, gr in the Dutch buckets, and they really seem to like it. And of course, people, we got that all done, I put it in the greenhouse already, and we've got to make more dirt. <laughs> it's kind of one, you know, you have a little jobs that you do and certain things you just like, I hate the motor line, but luckily sure he loves the motor line. I also hate the paint. And the other thing I'm starting to hate is having to make soil. But once I get going on it, it's not so bad. So uh, I'm back over here at the table. I have three bricks out already. And we're going to make more dirt. So here we go again. You'd be amazed how much water you have to add to this. 
these uh you saw how much dirt I got out of the last one and uh it's amazing how much water you got to add to this to break these down so uh I'll get this broke down add some perlite and uh I'll have some backup water uh <laughs> backup soil for I got one more potato bag to do and having backup soil for as the potatoes grow um I can add soil to them and that's this is with this is where the soil comes from so let me get all of this mixed up and uh, we'll see uh, go from there all right so I get this broken up I got my perlite in here now just gonna blend it and we're done and just like that it's all blended together just got to carry it over to the greenhouse and uh, I'll have some dirt for a while I hope now as I'm going back to the house for a bag I am so grateful to the weekends to have Sherry here to help me out because after about half the day all these little errands and fixes and repairs gets you get a little tuckered out so uh, but for someone my age it's good exercise keeps me busy and moving uh, can't think of a better exercise program yeah, get yourself a homestead. Get in shape. Anyway, I just wanted to take time how say how grateful I am for Sherry. And the fact is she does do the 9 to 5, which enables us to have really good health care. And uh, to also get uh, more prepared for when we're, she's ready to retire, which is not that far away. So uh, today, by the way, uh, is the day after Mother's Day. Today, she's taking her mother out to dinner. I'm going to try to catch up with them for Mother's Day. Uh, one is it's less crowds and uh, she doesn't do really good around crowds. So uh, anyway, hopefully we can get her a nice, take her out to a nice dinner tonight and uh, I'll try to catch up with them. All right guys, so this is the last of my potatoes. It's actually more than I need, but I'm going to put them all in. <laughs> so why not? Uh, I just, I'm not going to do any more potatoes after that. I've got 10 bags of potatoes and uh, that should be plenty this year. So let me get these out to the greenhouse, get them planted and we're done with potatoes. Alright guys, we got all the potatoes done. They're all set up in there. All is good. And uh, greenhouse is looking really nice. And uh, I feel better that I got sprayed for the aphids. And I have some leftover potatoes. So I gotta either find a place to plant them or get another bag. We'll see. Well guys, it's uh the tater time's over. Now it's chicken time. And uh, I actually haven't been showing the chickens much lately because we've had so many projects going on. But I gotta fill their water, feed them, and gather their eggs. So I don't remember if I got eggs yesterday, I'm not sure. We might have a lot of eggs. We'll see. Let's let's take a look. All right. Hey, girls. How are you? How's the chickens today? He's doing good. Got lots of eggs. Yeah, I know. You're gonna get some food and water in a minute. Let's go check out their laying. So uh, let's take a peek. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. So apparently we didn't get eggs yesterday. It was a busy day. So let's get some eggs. So yeah, we got a lot of eggs. I would guess there's 18 to 20 here, right there. It's a very rare that we uh, ever skip a day, but sometimes we just get so busy that one day we don't mind leave, leaving in the nest. Uh, let's take a look on this side. Not weird, they don't like this side very much. I don't know if it's cooler or what, but uh, they always lay on the other side, so. Yep, we got ourselves a ton of eggs, but before we get this all put away, by the way, I can't set these down low because I have a chocolate lab that steals my eggs and she'll eat them all. <laughs> I mean, she has, and uh, kind of frustrating. So we're going to put them over here, away from the puppies, and let's get these uh, chickens some new water. And of course, I forgot to turn, I turned off the water, and so we gotta walk 
all the way up there and turn on the water because I got ahead of myself. Just a reminder, this is part of the extra exercise you have with a home, homestead. Especially if you get all the way out to one area and realize you forgot a tool. And you end up walking all the way back again. And it's good for you. Even if it kills you. Yes, we go that far to get our water. I'm too cheap to have thousands of dollars to make trenches to put more water lines out here. But it sure be nice. Okay guys, let's try this again. So we had a little bit of excitement. Camera was facing the wrong way. One of our chickens got out. And surprised, <laughs> surprised that uh, Belle didn't hurt it, but she stopped it. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, I got to finish filling the water up in here because this thing gets really heavy to carry. So it's better to fill it up in the cage. All right, so now that the uh, water is filling, it's a good chance to fill up the feeder. And then we'd be all done. Happy chickens. A little bit of excitement there with the chicken getting out. And let's go take the eggs back in. By the way, today, last night, Sherry uh, loaded another 48 eggs in the freeze dryer. Those will be done tonight. And then, uh, well, with all these eggs, we may have to run another batch. <laughs> but it's kind of nice to put them all in the powder. Then we uh, bag them up. And uh, they're good for 25 years. So uh, if there was ever a crisis here, I can assure you we'll have protein for a long time. All right, decided to sit down a little bit, have a little bit of cranberry juice. Should add a little vodka to that. So it's kind of funny, you sit over here, it looks like a, a white bird got killed. Because if you look at the ground, you can uh, see all these little uh, cotton things that are falling off the trees. They're everywhere. And uh, at first I walked out of the house, I thought, oh my gosh, somebody, one of the dogs killed a bird or something. But no, it's just little cotton seedlings all over the ground here. So, <laughs> what the heck. So uh, in the show, I want to talk about eggs really quick. If you're wondering what we do with all of our eggs, of course, every week we do at least 48 eggs or more, freeze dry them to powder and put them in our preps. Uh, we do have some people that we give eggs to, our neighbors, and uh, we have folks that Sherry uh, works with that we let them donate. We don't sell. Uh, they donate to Sherry for eggs, and they're gladly doing that, but we do not charge for eggs. It's not a, a business of ours at all. However, when we uh, do give eggs out, we do ask once in a while that we get a donation or to help feed, just to help pay for feed a little bit. But yeah, not a profitable thing. We just know we always have food here and that's a really good feeling. And uh, so yeah, that's what we do with our eggs. And uh, unless that changes, I'll let you know. But all right, guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. I wanna thank you very much for watching. Good old Cinder here. She can make it up here in the truck. And the German Shepherd doesn't know how to jump that high yet. <laughs> Probably a good thing. So uh, anyway, I hope you uh, guys uh, enjoyed the show. Please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, leave a comment you know, in the comments below. Say hello. We'd love to hear from you. And comments help our uh, channel. Right now, just say hello, where you're from, what you're doing. If you're thinking about homesteading or you just enjoy watching homesteading. And did you get the taters done? <laughs> I should have a lot of potatoes, huh? 
So guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.